How would you like to listen to the Super Bowl shuffle with headphones that cost more than a car? I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. The war between AT&T and T-Mobile is getting more heated than usual this week as the two carriers continue to fight for customers by essentially bribing them with money. AT&T is offering a $100 credit for every new line opened to new and existing customers. AT&T also is paying $450 for T-Mobile customers that switch to AT&T. Now, T-Mobile started using cash to lure in customers a few weeks ago when it began paying the early termination fees for anyone that canceled their contracts to switch to T-Mobile. But if money is no object to you, then perhaps you would be interested in these limited edition Beats by Dre headphones designed for the football players heading to the Super Bowl this Sunday. The price tag for these models adorned in gold and diamonds, $25,000 a piece. I don't know how the sound quality can be any better for 25 grand, but perhaps you can find out for yourself when someone from the losing team eventually sells their swag on eBay. In other music news that may be actually useful to you, the streaming service Audio and the song recognition apps Shazam have expanded their partnership to 35 countries. So when you use Shazam to get the name of the song that is playing, it will link you to a full-length version of the song on Audio for free. But it's only free for a two-week mobile trial. After that, it'll cost $10 a month for unlimited mobile access on your phone or tablet. However, listening to Audio on the web from a desktop remains free. And Last FM, an internet radio website that recommends music, has partnered with the streaming service Spotify. Now, Last FM will have a Spotify play bar on the bottom of the site to access any song in Spotify's catalog. I should note that Last FM is owned by CBS Interactive, which is also the parent company of CNET. And in the same fashion that you would pay a monthly fee to Spotify or Audio to listen to unlimited music, you can pay for access to unlimited ebooks. Scribd is one such service. It likes to think of itself as the Netflix for books, and it launched an app on the Kindle Fire tablet. For $9 a month, you can access more than 100,000 ebooks. Now, that sounds like a lot of titles, but it's just a tiny fraction of the books that Amazon offers. The Scribd apps for iOS and Android also got a refresh with more features. That's your tech news update, but you can find more details on these stories at CNET.com slash update, and be sure to follow along on Twitter for the latest. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.